Hello Mark. Good afternoon Cameron. When did you learn you were dyslexic? Um, when I started at Strode College I did a new start course basically as re-educating yourself um, maths, English, computer studies, art and gen general English spelling so I found the course very, very, very difficult and I was really struggling in all departments and I couldn't even switch on a computer, which may sound crazy today. So I saw my line manager, her name was Katie, or Kate, and I said, look, I'm having really difficult problems. So I explained to her, I said, oh, look, Mr. Mark, there's a company in Ashcott which deals with problems, problems, but before they do, they'll come and talk to you. So they come and I had a two and a half hour session, questions, free questions, puzzles, spelling, the whole lot. And so it went on for two and a half hours. And after that, they said they, 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 they come back. And within three weeks, I had, I had the report and they diagnosed me with severe dyslexia and traits of autism. So it was in 2001, 2001, 2002, when, they diagnosed me with dyslexia. Okay, thank you, Mark. It's okay, yep. Before you knew you were dyslexic, which techniques did you use to manage your life and deal with the written word? Well, what I did was I got my wife, uh, my wife, and when I was at when I was at work, I got people to help me spell check and make sure that all the information I was given what was correct, like bus timetables, because obviously. Um, Sometimes you misread the timetables. Uh, again, help from family, close relatives to fill in forms. Um, but then, obviously, I didn't realise I had dyslexia. So you basically really coped as best you could. But again, back of your mind, there was an underlying issue. What kind of help do you need and what tools do you use today that help you manage your life with dyslexia? Well, when I started at office, when I started at university, I had a scribe. I would ask someone to sit down and articulate the words. And when I did the big essay, someone would come in, I would describe to them, and they would put in a much bigger bigger, bigger form. So when I, it read much better. And also I had blue screen computers, much, much bigger writing. And today, if like with benefits, they give me much bigger writing to understand. Um, obviously, I got a bus pass, and so if I if I've got an issue, I normally ask my my mum will help me fill out the form. My daughter will help me, and you yourself help me spell, make sure everything's presented in a really professional in a really professional light. Like again, okay, proper emails, proper letters, so everybody knows where I'm coming from. Do you use any charities? I use Sane as 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 a, as a, as a, as a charity. You know, they, they work with people with mental health. Uh, again, it's painting, artwork, and I work for a charity. Outside uh, in. Outside, yeah, I work with that charity. I'm their ambassador. So I will really promote their work over over here. So they work with they work with dis artists with disabilities, learning disabilities. And again, we're saying is 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 um obvious with dyslexia there are mental you there are issues and again a bit of a bit of autism with my dyslexia. So it's to really to spread the news Again, an ambassador is to showcase their work. Great. How has receiving a diagnosis of dyslexia changed your life? It's um well, obviously before I didn't know what, what what the issues were. Now I know what the issues. Are. I can really focus on the strong bits like the arts, the creative side of it, and people like you help out with, with the with the organisation to make sure things do run properly. That people know where I'm coming from. Again. Uh, so it's really focused my mind, and uh, especially the creative side of it. Excellent. Do you think dyslexia is it an advantage in your current field? It 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 is it is it is advantage because I understand myself what I've gone through, so I can relate to students or people with disabilities, and especially with teaching, it gives me a new it gives me a new unique perspective because obviously with dyslexia, severe dyslexia, autism, I can really re relate to the people around me. So you do have that, that empathy builds up, but it needs it still needs work work to do with it. And to make sure you come across not too not you like you come across in a clearer light. So using a visual language helps a lot.
Excellent. And finally, any advice to people with dyslexia? Is to first of all, if if you've got if you've got issues, to go and see your doctor or go and see the go and see your line manager in any form of education. Persist, persist, really persist. And once you've got diagnosed, then talk to other fellow artists, join dyslexic groups, and, and, and just foc focus on the creative side of dyslexia. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much also.